So we've been talking about adding double digit numbers. I'm going to show you a variety of strategies that you can refer back to in this video just so you can know what it is that we're doing in class. First I have this 34 plus 28. Well I know that 28 can be broken down into 20 plus an 8 by decomposing it. If I have 34 and I add 20, I know that I'm going to get 54. So that's 34, 44, 54. Then I know that if I have 54, I can take this 8 and break it even further into 6 plus 2. Well, if I use that 6 plus the 54, I know that I'm going to get to my next friendly benchmark, which is going to be 60. And then if I take 60 and I use the last 2, I know I'm going to get to 62. That's just one way of using multiples of 10 to help find the answer for double digit addition. Here I'm going to use the strategy of adding the tens and then the ones. 34 can be broken up into 30 plus 4. 28 can be broken up into 20 plus 8. So if I take the 30 plus the 20, I'm going to get 50. If I use the 4 plus the 8, I'm going to get 12. If I take 50 and add it to the 12, I'm going to get 62. Here I'm going to move some to make 10s, because we love those friendly numbers. When I look at 34 plus 28, I can see that 28 is pretty close to a friendly number. So if I take 2, from the 34 and I give it to the 28, what I'm going to do is then have 32 plus 30. So then I've made that 30, that friendly number, that's going to help me with 32, 42, 52, 62, and that's how I'm going to get 62. Here I'm going to use friendly numbers and I'm going to adjust. 34 plus 28, well I know that 28 is pretty close to 30. Actually, it takes me two more to get to 30. Well, if I have 34 plus 30, I know, let's see, 34, 44, 54, 64. So if I have 64, but then still, what I had to do is now I have to adjust. Well, if I added two, I'm going to have to take away two. If I take away two, then I'm going to get to 62. So the two that I had added, I've now taken away, I've adjusted, and now I have the answer, 34 plus 28 is going to be 62. I sure hope that this has given you a little bit of insight into what it is that we've done in our class. So if you need a little quick review, why not watch the video?